Hello, this is uh, Matteo Favreau, uh, checking in on the midpoint reflection um, for my third year 50-hour uh, placement. Um, and I'm the TA for Basketball One, uh, the Basketball One practical uh, offered at Nipissing. Um, and I guess we'll get right into the the questions here. Um, it's coached by Rachel Van Wozik. Um, okay. Uh, how does this placement connect, uh, with the BPHE curriculum? Um, I would say it's pretty easy. Uh, it connects to it because, uh, this practical is offered in our program and, um, it's a first year practical for, um, the BPHE program. So, uh, I'll, I believe it's mandatory, but, uh, if not, most people uh, take it in first year. And um, I took it in my first year, and now I'm the TA for it in my third year. Um, yeah, so obviously it connects to the curriculum and what BPHE is about. Uh, physical and health, health education, we're, uh, we're teaching um, how, to, how to play basketball, um, like what different drills you could run if you were to become a teacher uh or coach in basketball um yeah uh reflect on the field work you have been engaged in this thus far um so rachel has been uh using me as a, a demo uh for most skills uh such as like layups one day uh shooting another day or um like defense etc um, I've also been leading, uh, warm-ups and cool-downs, um, pretty standard, uh, easy position, I would say. Um, I'm not allowed to, to mark anything, but, um, I do pay attention, uh, quite a lot when, um, the first years are presenting their, uh, their drills or practices, um, in her and in, in Rachel's syllabus. Um, how has this increased your depth of understanding of Nipissing University um, and the BPHE curriculum? Um, well, now in first year, I had no really sort of clue uh, how to run a, a practice or um, a drill or uh, whatever. Um, so with peers and stuff, um, in my first year practicals, second year practicals, third year practicals, we are all, um, we have to pr present most things, and, um, I've really, uh, grown accustomed to that now in my, uh, in my third year, and, um, I, I guess I understand, um, Rachel's, uh, curriculum, her rubrics, um, and everything, uh, for what uh, she's asking for out of the course, and now I'm kind of understanding, um, all the, uh, the elements, uh, to, to breaking down the, uh, the curriculum. Uh, so question two, challenges and opportunities. Um, identify one significant challenge with respect to the sector that you're working in. Um, so, one challenge um that is in every uh practical every every section of every practical um that i've seen at least uh is a barrier um like a skill barrier um obviously um different people have their different strengths uh and that comes to sports as well so um for this basketball placement um you'll have a few kids who are uh like pretty good at basketball, um, understand everything, uh, understand most of the rules, um, forms, techniques, stuff like that. Um, and it's, it's hard to teach them more, uh, or improve their skill. So, um, uh, and then you have other people on the other side of the spectrum who are, um, you know, it might be the first time picking up a basketball they never played in, in high school, I mean, elementary school, they never were a real big fan of basketball. Um, this goes for any any practical. Um, and 
sometimes that barrier of skill shows and it's hard to work with and it might lead to mood changes uh with the class and stuff uh but i believe rachel and i do a pretty good job of um you know accounting for that um so everyone is participating and having fun and can do all the drills uh because that's a very important thing inclusivity um also with the the teaching um rachel lets um the the first years uh teach any age level any skill so if someone wanted to do a more competitive uh practice drill uh they could totally do that or a more like you know novice uh drill or practice um they could run that as well so uh, yeah those are the only challenges i would say there is um so we'll move to the third question um reflect on your interactions with the placement host peers uh patients students at my placement site um i would say only good things um at the very start uh rachel is extremely nice um we get along uh very well and uh obviously we both have a love for uh for basketball so um the main thing it makes things pretty easy when we're when we're teaching it um and whenever i'm demoing for her um uh, as far as the students um only good things as well um a lot of the students since we are i'm similar in age uh, to the most of the group um I feel like they uh, they understand me more. They uh, they understand uh, Rachel more. Maybe uh, there's more respect there. Um, yeah, we we have a, a, a fun time during the practicals. Um, uh, most basketball is a pretty fun game, and uh, everyone enjoys the sport. Uh, so the fourth and final question here is. Um, what is uh do i have like room for growth uh on my goals and uh, can i improve uh as going forward since i'm just over the halfway mark of uh hours um completed um i would say just uh offering um my my service to uh to rachel and how um maybe ask her more how can i how can i help her if there's uh if there's ever any issues um and maybe sometimes uh we do a lot of partner work um a lot of the times there's odd numbers and uh some people don't have a partner or the groups get messed up uh maybe sometimes i can join in uh from now on um with partner work just so uh everyone's getting the same knowledge and same reps and uh everything like that um yeah i think we've uh rachel and i have done a a pretty good job and made the students enjoy this class and given them a good uh opportunity in their in their first year so uh thank you